Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. We are celebrating 815 Day with Tim Mahoney in the 815 a little farther than where we're usually celebrating. Yeah, closer for me, <laughs> yes. further for you. My, yes. my new office is a couple of blocks over that way, so yes. it's great to have you in Freeport. Yeah, we're excited to be in Freeport. Uh, there's a lot of history here. There's a ton, there's a ton. And we're standing in front of the dedication done by Teddy Roosevelt to the Lincoln-Douglas debates that occurred here and the Freeport Doctrine that was part of those debates. And this was dedicated in 1903 and Teddy Roosevelt actually came as a sitting president and did the dedication. And there's a great photo over there of him where he rode the train from DC and yeah. got off on his horse, because you know, Teddy always showed up on a horse <laughs> and, and came up here and gave a great speech and, and did, did the dedication. And you know, the Freeport Doctrine um, most people have heard about the Lincoln-Douglas debates that happened in Freeport, but most people don't know about the Freeport Doctrine and how significant that was to a later election and ultimately to our country's entire history. So the debates occurred in 1858. It was, the two, two men were running for Senate, for Illinois Senator. Douglas was a, a sitting Senator and, and Lincoln was running against him. And a whole series of events had happened up into that debate. So, so number one, um, there had been a, the Dred Scott decision. And the Dred Scott decision had said that um, African Americans, not the term that they used, were not United States citizens. They could be citizens of an individual state, but they were not United States citizens. Dred Scott decision also said that the national government could not regulate slavery. At the same time, the uh, land that was part of the Missouri Compromise that compromise banned slavery in that particular area of land. Dred Scott overturned that. And Douglas had, had been the head of a lot of different uh, laws passed by the Senate to allow slavery in a portion of that land, the Kansas-Nebraska Act being the main one. So Dred Scott had just happened, so now these debates were culminating because Lincoln knew that he was gonna run for president in two years. Everybody knew that Douglas was going to run for president in two years, and the South was watching. The other big factor that happened, this was the second debate. This was the first one that was really kind of nationally televised. Obviously, you didn't have television, yeah. but you had the <laughs> telegraph back then. So everybody was paying attention to this particular debate. And, and Douglas had been asked this question before, so Lincoln knew what, the, what type of answer he had given, but now with the Dred Scott decision, he was, he was painting him into a corner. So what Lincoln did is he asked Douglas, okay, in light of the Dred Scott decision, in light of what you've done down in Missouri, can individual territories regulate slavery? And the Illinois was pretty much a state that, that stood for the proposition that yes, we wanna be able to regulate slavery, we wanna be able to have our own laws in that arena. The South didn't want any other state to be able to regulate slavery. They wanted, so like if, if their property, their slave came to another state, mm -hmm. they wanted to be able to go grab their property and take it back. Whereas Illinois believed, no, 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 no. Once somebody gets here, we get, have the ability to regulate that. So that was really the debate. So when Douglas, when, when Lincoln said to Douglas, what do you think? Now Douglas was in a tough spot because if he said, Yes, I think territories can regulate slavery. That would help him for his senatorial race, which he wanted to get back to the Senate and run for president as a senator. Mm -hmm. But if he said that, it also put him in difficulty with the South because the South wanted no regulation whatsoever. Douglas gave a, a complicated answer that essentially said, yes, I do believe that territories can individually regulate. Well, that won him this race of 1858, the senatorial race, Lincoln lost again, if you know his history, he lost and lost and lost and lost and lost. Yeah. However, when 1860 came around, the Democrats wanted Douglas to be their nominee, and when they got to the Democratic National Convention in Raleigh, North Carolina, the Democratic Party split. The Southern Democratic Party wanted there to be a national code a regulation regarding slavery and the Northern Democratic Party said no. So they actually ended up running two candidates, one from the South and Douglas from the North. And what did that allow? That allowed Somebody Lincoln. To win. Correct. That <laughs> split the vote and that allowed Lincoln, who was running as a Republican, the radical Republicans that were started in Ripon, Wisconsin, yeah. allowed Lincoln to run as a Republican and allowed him to be elected and became our 16th president. And we plummeted into a civil war and the rest is history. Literally history. Yes. You know, if you ever want to stop being a lawyer, you could probably be a teacher. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> being a teacher is great. Yeah. And so that's why Teddy Roosevelt actually came here as a sitting president because the Freeport Doctrine is such 
a huge deal. That was the turning point in those debates, and that was the turning point in the, in the election that happened two years later, and the turning point in our country when, because Lincoln was the one when he was, remember, everybody tried to get Lincoln to not make it be an amendment to the Constitution, and instead just pass a law, and he said no, we have to decide this once and for all. It has to be an amendment to the Constitution, and we're going to get it passed. And, and they did, and that reunited the country and, and changed our, our history forever. So right, right over there right was here. the debate, and right here is where Teddy came in and said it was such a big deal.